Hello there, and welcome back to Tatooine Table Flip. I am Jimmy, and today I'll be unboxing Doctor Who Time of the Daleks from Gale Force 9. Let's get this thing open and check this out. I can't wait. Okay, Doctor Who Time of the Daleks. Let's get this thing open. I have been waiting for this game for a very long time, as I'm sure a lot of you have as well. Nice linen finish on the box cover here. I like that a lot. Nice slick page, full color rule book. Gives us some nice overview stuff about the game. Boy, this, this just looks better and better. <laughs> I cannot wait to get this game to the table and get playing. The only thing that would make this better is if there's some sort of solo mode. Oh boy, okay, that'll be great. Well, these look like the player sheets. Oh, I wish they would have been a little heavier cardboard. You see, they're very flimsy. These are going to get laminated as soon as I possibly can. It's bigger on the inside. Oh, they're all the same on the back, but uh, different ones on the front for the different doctors in the game. Oh, the Tom Baker one. That'll be great. I hope there's a figure of that one in there. All the way back to the first doctor. Let's put a backing paper. And we have uh, Time Anomaly, Progress, and Sonic Screwdriver tokens. Let's see if we can get these way up here to have a good look at them. There we go. Yeah, those are great. Double-sided, of course. This looks like uh, probably the main board. That is a great picture on the back. I'm glad they games are starting to do stuff like this instead of just a flat black or no color or anything else a lot of board games are starting to put artwork on the back of the boards themselves that is really cool nice linen finish very solid solid nice and sturdy that's great here are the uh custom dice Let's put some of that <clears throat> I don't know how well you can see them. Let's try it this way. There we go. Those are really cool. Nice. They, they feel really good. They're uh, slightly... Uh, I think they're printed, actually. I was going to say they might be engraved, but I think they're actually just printed. So they may... The color may wear off after a bit. Well, they might be slightly ingrained. I don't know. I can't. It's hard to tell. This looks like the bag of figures and some some base markers. Nice little Dalek figures. Those are really cool. Oh man, I can't wait to get this game to the table. This is awesome. Oh, and there's our Tom Baker figure. Some nice detail on these. I don't know how well it's showing up on the camera there. Wow, these are really cool. Here's the first Doctor. And of course the other two. That's all right. It's like a Dalek spaceship, I suppose. Yeah, forgive me, I'm not real up on my Doctor Who lore. And uh, we have four of these TARDIS markers. That's really cool. 
Boy, that's gonna be all right. Oh. A huge. Yeah, we'll put those aside for a second. This is a uh, packet of slightly oversized cards. They say locations on them. Time anomaly on the back. Oh yeah, it is the dog chip. Okay. And down here it says, Welcome to my new empire, Doctor. It is only fitting that you should bear witness to the resurrection and triumph of Davros, Lord and creator of the Dalek race. That's really great. And then it looks like it says challenge and it shows these dice. Probably going to be a push your luck dice placement type of game. All of the backs of those are the same. That'll be all right. Another packet of cards. Looks like the companions and other friends and folks who have had some kind of relationship with the doctor at one time or another. Oh, here's the doctor's cards themselves. Amy and Rory. Yeah, this is all right. Clara. Story dice reference. Story dice, huh. Yeah, nice. K9 marker rules. Hmm. Pack of, uh, as you can see, smaller cards. <laughs> Timey wimey stuff. Wibbly wobbly, timey wimey. Nice quote on the back from the doctor. People assume that time is a strict progression of cause to effect, but actually, from a non linear, non subjective viewpoint, it's more like a big ball of wibbly wobbly, timey wimey stuff. That's great. It's like these might be items that you can get as you go along through the game. Nice. Memory worm. Yeah, great. Oh, that's really cool. All right, let's get that. Let's get into this big bag. It looks like it's just <clears throat> other parts of the playing surface. Woman who lived. Possible astronaut. Davros's master plan. Great intelligence. And these are meant... I'm sure to slot in with these surrounding that bigger board over there. It looks like it's also got slots for them there. I don't know how well you can see that. And they fit in like that. Or maybe the, no, it's the little ones. Storm cage facility. Claire's apartment. Looks like some of the locations you use in the game. These are all also linen finish. You guys know I love that. Yeah, locations in the back. See that marked? Again, more artwork on the back of the tiles. And they're all really, really sturdy. That's fantastic. Those things are really going to last. These are dilemmas, it says. That's cool. There's a big bag of them, as you can see. There's a lot of them. I imagine this game probably has a lot of replayability to it. And I cannot wait to sink my teeth into this game. Well, there you have it. Doctor Who, Time of the Daleks. Usually in between the opening and this segment here, I like to have a quick look at the rules, but I have another unboxing to do and it is really cold up in this room, you guys. <laughs> so I'm sorry, I can't, I still can't comment on the game very well, but uh, I will have a proper review episode coming up sometime soon, hopefully within the next week. And every time I say that, you know, something always happens. But uh, as some of you know, I was recently hit by a truck and that's greatly impacted my ability to get around. I have a broken foot and uh, uh, so it severely impacted my ability to um, get some new content out for you. As you know, you guys who watch the show, you see me move through my living space as we come up the stairs to the game room here. So it, uh, I've been severely behind on everything, but I'm now, you know, my, my foot's getting better. 
Uh, thanks for all the well wishes, by the way, and I'm I'm getting back into it. I'm finally getting some new episodes back together, and, and now it's just a matter of playing catch up. Uh, so this is one of those things I'm playing catch up with. I I I kind of forgot about it. <laughs> I had it on order, but uh, I kind of forgot about it. And instead of doing the usual little bits of research I like to do beforehand, um, I went down and just picked the darn thing up, of course, just to, to get a hold of it. And now, so I'll be doing the other unboxing and then I can get back downstairs where it's warm and uh, have a read through the rule book and maybe a play against my evil twin uh, tonight before I go to bed and knock off for the night. So, um, yeah, it'll be probably a little while before I can get a review episode up. I want this to be the next one, but I'm not sure that it will be. Uh, but keep an eye out for it, and uh, it'll be up as soon as possible. And, hey, you guys know that uh, I have a Patreon page. I invite you all to become producers of Tatooine Table Flip, this program, and also our new podcast, Tatooine Table Flip, the podcast. Uh, by the way, that is available on Stitcher and iTunes and SoundCloud and Google Play. Uh, but I'd like you to become producers of both shows. We're going to keep the show ad-free, so we're going to uh, totally subsist on uh, viewer donations and our Patreon and things like that. Um, if you can't kick a few bucks at us, if you have an old game you'd like to uh, send our way. We take game submissions as well. We like to review a bunch of older games as well as some of the newer stuff that's coming out. Um, you can find me at Twitter and Facebook. I am Board Gamer Blues, of course, and you can email me directly. It's J-I-M-M-I-E, that's my name, at BoardGamerBlues.com. I appreciate you guys watching, everybody, and I will see you next time. I'm going to get the other one filmed. Like, get out of here. It's cold up here. Thanks. Bye. We'll